According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive Kidney Diseases, cirrhosis is the 12th leading cause of death. Now, cirrhosis happens when the scar tissue replaces a healthy liver tissue. This stops the liver from working normally. Hence, cirrhosis is classified as a long-term liver disease. But why wait for it to become a chronic or a long-term disease? This is the question that we are looking for answers. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be talking about the various diagnostic methods in scanning a liver disease. Portal hypertension is one of the most important complications of chronic liver disease and its early recognition is of paramount importance. Now, though liver biopsy remains the gold standard for diagnosing liver fibrosis and also an upper GI endoscopy plays an equally important role in diagnosing different findings of portal hypertension. Various non-invasive methods are cropping up like the fibroscan, which are being nowadays used increasingly to diagnose liver fibrosis. The study that I'm talking about is published in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India. In this study, a total of 114 patients of chronic liver disease and compensated cirrhosis were included. All the patients, they underwent detailed history, physical and gastrointestinal examination. The CBC, the LFT, KFT, viral markers were all the tests that were performed. The AST to ARPI score was calculated. The liver fibrosis was estimated with the help of the fibro scan. And evidence of portal hypertension was documented by the upper GI endoscopy. The results showed that the alcoholic liver disease was the most common cause of chronic liver disease closely followed by non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in 42% of the cases followed by chronic viral hepatitis 75% of the patients had an evidence of portal hypertension even. The study therefore concluded that fibro scan was found to be more sensitive and specific to detect portal hypertension and its various endoscopic manifestations in areas where there is a scarcity of trained endoscopists and gastroenterologists non-invasive markers like the fibro scan itself can be of valuable tool in detecting portal hypertension that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon.